Hey, good morning, it's Dr. James. I hope you're off to a beautiful start today. It's so wonderful to lay eyes on you. Thank you for your time and thank you for your energy. And this morning, I am really gonna do my very best to channel what's inside of my heart today. And you, if you will lean into this message and you will allow it to envelop you with a story I wanna share with you, I believe you will go, oh my goodness, I have got the best work of my life to do starting now. This is all about what I experienced yesterday, and you may know a little bit about Leonardo da Vinci. I went to the exhibit of his life yesterday at the museum, and I gotta tell you, I, I had read a lot about him. I've, been, I've studied some things that he's done, I've seen some quotes, but I had no idea about his background, right? And so many of us can say, you know what? Well, I didn't get the education that I, or my parents weren't that awesome. They, my parents weren't together, it was a broken home. I mean, all these things can affect us, literally. <laughs> they, they've affected me. But here's the beautiful thing. Leonardo da Vinci is a example, an example of epigenetics. He is an example of a demonstration of not allowing his history to define his path in life. Did you know that Leonardo da Vinci came from a very broken home? In fact, he left home at age 14. Leonardo da Vinci never had any formal education. Leonardo da Vinci developed and invented hundreds upon hundreds of inventions, literally. On top of the fact he painted the Mona Lisa, on top of the fact he painted the Last Supper, on top of the fact that he literally was the, the master of dissection of the human body and did all this medical stuff and he wasn't a doctor. Leonardo da Vinci used to travel, travel cities where they used to keep precious birds inside of cages and he would literally pay cash for the bird in the cage and then look at the person he bought it from, open the cage door and let the bird out. Why? because that's how he loved, and that's how he felt life should be. An example of how he allowed himself to free himself to think and live and love outside of the box. So here's my take home. We today have all kinds of reasons to live and love and give inside of the box, where it's safe where we believe uh, our education or our family background or our history or what people have said to us said, you know what, this is where I can live within this container. This is safe, this is predictable. This is where I can say, you know what, this is what I've accomplished because I've got this story that says, you know what, I can't do any more than this. Or when I went outside and loved outside of the box, I got hurt or I got judged, I got ridiculed for giving in such a way that seemed like, oh my goodness, how given now? Well, you're gonna get hurt. So you held back. The world is ready to see you and me and all of us in this community to not just think outside the box like Leonardo did. He didn't even see the box. I want us to give, live, and love outside of the box where we have no idea what the box was, couldn't care less what the box is, and we'll never allow ourselves to be shackled by the box of our history. We can invent at the same level Leonardo did. We can invent by leaving legacies all over in every single moment of our life. How deeply do we give? How deeply do we love? How present are we? And allowing that to be the energy of how we invent and live and love. <sighs> Unrealized potential is inside of all of us. It's inside of me, it's inside of you, it's inside of all of us. Are we willing to express it with a level of abandon today that literally allows us to transcend anything historically that we have held ourselves back because of? Someone said you didn't have what it takes. Someone said you didn't have the education. You carry around some baggage because someone said something about you that still you cling to. And listen, hey, we have all been hurt. And we can all carry that baggage. And I carry some of mine still today, and I say, you know what? How much of this do I really want to belong into anymore? How much do I want to have it define me anymore? I want to let it go. And I want to live and love and give way outside the box where I can't even know or see or ever believe there was a box that contained me. Belief, intention. Power, vision, mission. Today, we rise, we shine. Allow yourself to follow the lead of Leonardo. He was a doer after he thought. He thought and he did and he created. And he 
was a creator of a life that we can all look at and go, that is an example of the human spirit demonstrated in human doing, living and loving and giving. Let's follow that lead. Much love and every blessing. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.